The biggest barrier I would say is that we have no infrastructure. We don't really have the financial wherewithal to have that stuff. Last year we attended the uh, Alabama Fruit and Vegetable Growers Conference. It was really fantastic to meet so many other people who started as small as we were and have been successful. So it's it's encouraging. Well, I mean, I think I think one of the challenges that a lot of farmers have is operating a business and so uh, you really need to kind of understand what your place is going to be in the market. Uh, both Lee and Karen and Jamie when she was helping have been um, have been integral to kind of our our uh, thinking through our business. We've gone through a lot of changes over the years in terms of um, you know the customers we focused on and the challenges that we were trying to overcome. I think we've made some good adjustments as a result of some of the mentorship uh, that'll pay off in the long run. Work with some of the local extension people here in Etowah County. We're getting our USDA GAP H GAP certification hopefully in the next week or so. We're going to be in the markets where we weren't able to be in the markets before. We have anything from strawberries to tomatoes, to just a, a variety, whatever it takes. We're still figuring out what works, what doesn't work. For me, the technical part and then the work hard part, the labor part, and getting that balance, sometimes that can be a barrier. And then we learn, the more you talk, the more you resource yourself, the more you get out there and say, hey, you know, I need help with this. There's an article on this, it may be a bug, it may be a disease, it may be anything, anything, anything like that, just really, really, it does make a huge difference.